Hey, oh, that's a new girl, right? That's a new girl that we saw from the ruined poster. She's looking out. No! She's shining her torch on my boy, Bonnie. There he is! With the exciting and spicy news that FNAF Security Breach is going to get a DLC, we've gone back to the original Security Breach to find secrets and clues as to what might happen in the DLC. And even though this game is over six months old by this point, we have actually found something that nobody else has done yet. So you better get yourself ready because you're about to be breached. That sounded better in my head. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Science with Paparaz. The series in which you give me your myths, theories, and experiments to blow open the secrets of FNAF Security Breach. And I hope you're ready to bring Bonnie back from the dead. But before we go ahead and find out what happened to our beautiful friend Glamrock Bonnie, oops, spoilers, I've actually got a very important question to ask you. It's super serious, so you better listen up. Our beautiful buddy boy Glamrock Bonnie versus Montgomery Steal Your Life and your wife Gator. Who would win in a fight? Pop your answers in the comment section below. Even though we know the answer. The first exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Ben. After the purge came out, I replayed Security Breach again, and I wondered what if the Vanessa check out the main stage line was updated, but I checked this stage instead. Maybe she meant this stage, and then the moon did this. Hey, what's my boy Tickle Fingers up to, huh? I know the Steel will have added various different pieces and voice lines and everything to Security Breach as the updates have been going on, but I don't know if this has always been there, so today, we're gonna be checking out this myth. She can tell where I am based on the sound of my big- I don't like where this is going. How? How did she know I was here? How did she know I was here? Come on! Why? Why? She doesn't know I'm here, as long as I don't say anything, Jiminy Christmas! She was so close! How did you know where I was? We're safe. Okay, we're safe. I found an old save right before it goes over to 6 a.m. So we're gonna go in. I think we need to upgrade Glam Daddy with, ironically, Roxanne's eyes. I'm pr oh, Glam Daddy toes. Hey, yo, I'm sure somebody out there is like, mwah, exquisite chef's kiss right to them toesies. Put on some clothes. These are your mother does. <laughs> Guys, if you're hyped for another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Myths video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if this video right here gets 1,000 beautiful likes before the video is one hour old, I'll go ahead and give you another Myths video to do with the DLC and Glamrock Bonnie, because I found out some even more incredible things after recording this video. And you don't want to miss it. Smash like. And the massive giveaway for a free copy of FNAF Security Breach is still ongoing to celebrate the announcement of the DLC coming out. So if you would like a chance at winning one of the free copies, I'm going to be given away all you need to do to enter is subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section below now the comment could be anything tell me who your favorite fnaf characters tell me when you joined the fnaf franchise give me a myth for our myths series now myths in particular i want myths to do with glamrock bonnie and dlc there's still things in this game that we have not uncovered that are going to give us hints to the dlc so i want myths to do with that and obviously things that you think will happen in the dlc so subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Good luck. The daycare attendant is loose one last time. And I've been a naughty boy. Okay, there we go. Quick, in, 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 in we go, in we go, in we go, in we go. Right, glam daddy. Get to a recharge station? I think I'm meant to just exit, aren't I? I can't save, no. So let's go, let's go. Let's go and see if we can get the moon man to do what he's supposed to do. I'm a little bit nervous though. I am, I'm not gonna lie. I'm very nervous right now, Freddy. I'm sweating profusely. This myth is a very, oh, I just got jump scared from a pop-up menu. So it was this stage over here that the moon man popped down off. So let's jump out real quick. Let's see if he does it. Oh no, he doesn't. I want to press the button? No. Maybe you've got to be on like the newest update. Oh, maybe it's like a new update thing. I know we did say it was on the new update, but I wanted to check it on the old update first to see if we could actually get it done. But it doesn't appear like it. Is he anywhere in here? Oh, Freddy. Um, Freddy, I, 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 I'm stuck. Freddy, 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 Fre Freddy. Um, I. Oh, oh, we're good. We're good, Gregory. Gregory, you learned how to use his legs. We're good. I was sweating. Where? Oh, oh, he's done it. He did it. There he is. He popped down. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, no, oh, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. My, my eyes were blinking there, my eyes were blinking too much. That was amazing, he actually did it. So it is something that happens. I think you've just got to hang around in this area for long enough. Let's see if I can get him to do it again. Oh no, this is freaking me out now, dog. Where is he? 
So it does work! I feel like he is up there, but... I don't... Oh, nah, nah, I'm freaking. I'm glad that this show stage finally has a reason to exist. I can press a button now? Okay. Ah! <laughs> Goodbye. Well, there we go. That myth was actually true. Fantastic. I'm so glad I tried that out. It was really cool. All joking aside, apart from the jump scare and the heart attack, the rest of it was really interesting. The fact that there are still little bits in the game that people haven't found yet or that are so rare they barely exist to people is amazing. So, wow, what a first myth. That was... It's truly terrifying, but really cool at the same time. The next exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Flooper. <laughs> what a name. Also, that girl from the new DLC kind of looks like the girl with the pigtails on the newspaper in the escape ending. And being the fantastic theorists that we all are, we've gone back over every inch of FNAF Security Breach to look for clues as to what will go on in the DLC, which is exactly what we're doing today. So that's why I wanted to bring up this point. The girl with the pigtails in the middle of this newspaper does really really look like her. Not quite the same, but then again, this is just a silhouette of a picture and we've got a silhouette of a girl on the DLC. They look similar enough that there could be some sort of connection. She is either going back there to find Gregory, to solve something else, or maybe she's been there the entire time in some sort of secret room that we don't know about. She's there for a reason. We don't know what the reason is, but this newspaper, I think, is tied to it. She's another missing person. Whether she's Gregory's sister or they're just friends, or something, she's there for Gregory. I mean, that's probably the, the most logical reason. And she was probably missing at some point as well. Or at least according to this newspaper. Let me know your thoughts and theories down in the comment section below. That's what we love, whether we're right or wrong. It's nice to theorize. So thank you very much for bringing up that point. Speaking of areas that we have never been in this game, there is one area in this game I have never been to. I found this corridor and it was literally right beside Monty Golf. You guys gotta let me know if you've actually been here yourselves. But it's right beside Monty Golf and over here, You've got like the, the Pirate Cove area with Foxy. Uh, well, not Foxy, and a very sad looking Chica holding out her palm. She's after some pizza or something. But it's up here. I've never actually been along this corridor. And I'm wondering, does anything exist? Like, why why would you be along here? There's like there's like nothing along here. You've got the really cool models. I'll tell you what, the artwork in this game is absolutely fantastic, but what's in here? Wash your paws. <laughs> Make sure you wash your paws. Oh, it's a little chica area. Hello, I, 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 I legit have never been. Have you been here? Is there any reason to be in here with the game? I, I'm pretty certain I've done every single mission in the game, and I've never ever been in here. This is this is just insane. I'm still finding areas. Excuse me, I'm just taking your photo real quick, there, buddy. Quickly, I don't want I don't want chica or somebody to come in here. Please, let's not have that. This fell. Oh, there's somebody in there as well. Right, so who have we got? Who's in here? What is this plate? This, there's a giant cupcake over there. So this is obviously like a cupcake factory or something. That guy's just vibing there. So you can make cupcakes? I reckon this was another area that was, that was cut for whatever reason. Or they've got some sort of... Um, box or something in here that I can grab. So let's quickly go through. Oh, there. There's one there. So this is this is just another area where you can come and get collectibles. And as you can tell, I've never been here because I haven't picked up that box. But this is wild. There are so many areas in this game I still have never been. Look, look at this place. There should have been a mission where you get to make cupcakes or something. There should have been something like that. Surely. This is just crazy. So what is... That's a golden cupcake over there. So what's this? This is some sort of chica magnet or something. Also, how did that not work there? He's dancing. My boy's dancing, Jiminy. Christmas, why have you done that? Like, why? Why? Of all the things you could have done there. Chica's feeding Frenzy? Oh, that was cut. I remember this was a game that was actually meant to be played at some point, but it got cut. So these are places, things that have been cut. So what's this information here? Have you ever been here? Please let me know, because I, I have never seen this area. Chica feeding Frenzy in the bakery won't turn off. Even when unplugged, the game keeps running. There's no way that it has that much residual charge. Okay, so yeah, that was definitely for some sort of secret. 
and it was cut from the game. I would like to see if we could play that at some point. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Why would you have a present on the toilet? That just seems unhygienic to say the least. But yeah, I thought I would show you this area because I was shocked to see it actually even exists in the game. Could she get out of there? Oh, yep. Oh, Jimmy Christmas, Jimmy Christmas, Jimmy Christmas. Can she get up in here? Where is she? Okay, I want her to come in. I want her to come in. I want her to come in because apparently there's a myth. No! Oh, 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 I did it! I did it! I did it! I got her in the other. <laughs> she just vanished! She just absolutely disappeared. So I got her in the elevator, she jump scared me, my natural cat-like reflexes just flashed the camera, it stopped the jump scare from going through properly, and we had her in the elevator for like a brief two seconds, and then she disappeared, but I can still hear her glitching out. She's like, here. So I wonder, right? Because she's not going to be here anymore, she's technically on the bottom floor still, right? So let's go back down in the elevator immediately and see if she reappears at the same spot. That would be interesting. And scary at the same time. But there was a myth, there was a myth. I, 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 if, if I can remember it, I'll pop it on the screen right now, but they were suggesting that they wanted me to try and get one of the animatronics into the elevator, press the button and see what happens. But they just disappeared. It's, it's almost like sometimes Freddy disappears in the elevator, so they're obviously not programmed to do that because then they would just wander everywhere. But yeah, she's not here anymore, so she's just going to be on this side of the door. I can hear her. Oh, I've just... I've just completely glitched her. She's not... She's not here anymore. Well, that's how you easily eliminate animatronics. That's something else you've learned today. Banned from the dead pair. Nah. Please don't. Please don't say that this is an actual message. The next myth of the day is by the fantastic, fantastic MLG Gamer. <laughs> Matt Bot returneth. Good to see him after all these months. You know it would be funny to see a broken version in the DLC. He hands you his last map and then powers off forever. <gasps> I think I'm about to catch feelings at that point. Do you know what? I wouldn't. The only feeling I would be catching if Matt Bot powered off permanently is I would be celebrating. I'll be doing a little dance. That's not a dance. That's not a dance. That's a violation. <laughs> I would be happy. Needless to say, very happy if Matt Bot just permanently shut down. So about that Glamrock Bonnie. Yeah. Since the announcement of the Ruin DLC, there's been rumors floating around the internet that more clues to Glamrock Bonnie can be found in the game. <laughs> so let's go find our baby boy. So I think what we need to do first of all is find out what actually happened to Glamrock Bonnie. So let's go ahead and get that ending real quick. And to do that, we need to make our way to Gator Golf. Get a nice little game of golf in, relax the muscles, calm the soul, and get ourselves a hole in one. Don't embarrass me! And this for the dub. All Paparaz has to do is lightly tap it and we win. Yay! What a great game! I love golf! Just give me the Bonnie ending now, please! There's my dear sweet Bonnie! Look how happy he is! He's going for a midnight walk or a 2am walk. He's off out of Rockstar Row, out of his little green room, over to the West Arcade where he plays the Princess Quest minigame. Later on he goes to Monty Golf, you know, just to chill out, relax after a, a nice hard day of trying to free Vanessa's soul. <laughs> but Vanny catches him in the act of playing golf! Oh no! He shouldn't be here at midnight! Nice <laughs> disassemble Bonnie, which seems a bit of an overreaction. So Monty's there, he's like, hey buddy, how are you doing Monty? Monty's like, no, I'm gonna have a slice of your cheeks real quick. So he does. He takes a fat slice of the same pie, and then Bonnie is left crying. Good job, dear. Need to cover your tracks. Oh, that was Afton saying that. That's the first time I've ever heard saw that because it was in purple text. Okay, so Afton says you need to cover your tracks. So Bonnie is taken back up to Bonnie Bowl, where his body is presumably behind the curtain. And he's just left there to rot, or until Vanessa Vanny can take his body down into the depths of the pizza plex, where, as we know, Afton uses parts of him to be revived and back once again, because that's what Afton does. Afton's back once again, but that's not what the important part is here. The important part was we needed to find out what was happening to Bonnie. 
We needed to find out what was happening to Bonnie, and once that had happened, we can then go ahead and do the next part of the ending. The canon ending, where we're hopefully going to see some more Bonnie and DLC goodness. Let me know your thoughts and theories down in the comment section below about what we just saw there. Obviously, it makes sense that uh, Vanessa or Afton wanted to get rid of Glamrock Bonnie, because it looked like Glamrock Bonnie was on the trite tracks to freeing Vanessa from Afton's grasp. That's why we saw the Princess Quest mini game. so it kind of makes sense, but we need more in the DLC. We need to find out exactly what happened to our dear sweet rabbit. Bring him back, Steel Wool. You got a great opportunity. Bring the bunny boy back. Oh, Glam Daddy. There's my beautiful boy. How are you doing? How are you doing, my baby? Um, I've got good news and terrible news. Would you like the good news first? Or are we going to find out more things to do with... Your mother? No, Glamrock Bunny. Your friend? Do you remember him? Stop talking about my mother. It's kind of weird at this point. But on the negative side, I'm going to have to straight up abandon you, leave you here to rot, literally. And I'm going to leave you in ruin for the next, like, 30 years or so. So, hope you're cool with that. All right, then. It's been fun buddy. I'm about to leave. Okay, so what I wanted to do here was get the old school ending, the terrible ending, which we think is potentially the canon ending, where Gregory runs out of here. He runs out of here. He's escaping. But at the end of this, we're hopefully going to get a bonus scene because we found out what happened to Bonnie earlier on in the game. So now that the game is registered, we found that ending. Hopefully, we can get something new here at the end. But as you can see there, there right in the middle, there's the girl with the pigtails that we think is in the ruined DLC. Plus, we've got some more, like, focus on the newspaper here than originally, like, intended. They've really focused in on that newspaper, which makes sense that they want us to look at that and theorize about it. And then Vanny's obviously coming at the end there, one star ending, because it's the worst possible. And dear sweet Gregory has once again been captured by Vanny and Afton. And that's one of the reasons why we do think that is the canon ending, or at least the ending that leads on to the DLC trailer, because why else would Gregory go back, right? Uh, one... He could go back to finish off Afton once and for all because in the end, in that the the official dis or, or what the community has mutually decided is the official canon ending is the one where you free Vanessa, everybody goes home, you see Glam Daddy and Vanessa and um, good old Gregory having an ice cream, looking out over the sunset. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, but it doesn't actually solve the Afton problem. So people are suggesting in between the ending of Security Breach and the start of the ruined DLC, Gregory's gone back and he's got captured because they went to finish off Afton. But this ending also makes sense because what happens is Afton's not dealt with, once again. Vanessa's not dealt with. Vanny's still out and about. And Vanny has captured Gregory after abandoning him. So... It makes sense, right? So either one of these two endings could be the ending that leads to the ruined DLC. Let me know which one you think it is down in the comment section below. But now, now this is the exciting part because hopefully now we've learned, because we've learned what happened to Glamrock Bonnie and his body's been stored away, hopefully we can get more info about what happened to Bonnie and potentially about the DLC coming up. The rumors I've heard is that this ending is very, very cool. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Man, I love that we're still finding new things out. I love that we're still finding new things out to do with the game. It's absolutely amazing. It's very poggers. It's very poggers. Black screen. Hey, yo, what? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Hey, yo, that's a new girl, right? That's a new girl that we saw from the ruined poster. She's looking out. No! She's shining her torch on my boy Bonnie. There he is! Glamrock Bonnie! The place is totally destroyed. Is he uh, is he trapped under the Freddy statue? The beautiful boy's been ruined! <gasps> you, 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 you might want to look behind you! You might want to look <laughs> Okay! I think my boy Glam Daddy getting a little bit mean there! He's got purple eyes and he was gonna. Now, this has hit me right in the feels, yo. This hit me right in the feels. Does that mean that not only is my boy, Bonnie, absolutely ruined, pun intended, by the way, but not only that is, but Glam Daddy been taken over? No, please don't do that to my Glam Daddy. Please don't do that to my Glam Daddy. Nah, the, I'm too hyped, man. I'm too hyped. This ruined DLC, I know it's coming out next year. I know it's coming out next year, but still, I'm excited. I'm too, too excited. What an episode.
one episode. Thank you very much for all the myths, theories, and experiments in today's video. It's been so much fun. I know there's more out there. I know there's more out there to do with the DLC that we haven't found yet. And there's new things in the game that we still haven't seen. The update has brought cool things. There's so many hidden files. Would you like an episode of me going through some of the cancelled content or the cut content from within the game? Because there's some really cool voice lines and voice lines to do with possessed Freddy. Like we heard there at the end. Man, to hear Freddy going all evil. That's just giving me shivers, man. It's giving me shivers. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That was another FNAF Security Breach Myth video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour of the video going live. And tomorrow, you will get another FNAF video. And hey, yo, I want to give a massive shout out to Blue, Snartles, and Barry for helping out with today's video because it could not have happened without them. So please, in the description below, there's links to their Twitter accounts. Go and check them out because they're so talented and I love the FNAF community and what they do like honestly their work if you haven't seen it is just some of the best out there so please do me a favor go and follow them on Twitter I, 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 you, it's worth it trust me and the massive giveaway for a free copy of FNAF security breach is still ongoing to celebrate the announcement of the DLC so if you would like a chance at winning one of the copies I'm going to be giving away all you need to do is subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section below now the comment can be anything but give me a myth for our myth series they're the ones I'm looking for especially Actually to do with the DLC. Well, there we go. I'm gonna get out here. Run away my face just now. There's gonna be another couple of videos I know you will enjoy, so click on one of them bad boys. I'll see you over there. I'm a Raspowski. You've been the beautiful raspberries as always for watching, and I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye!